Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in the series of machine learning with scikit-learn. Today we'll be talking about a very important algorithm in the regression that is polynomial regression. Now in this video we'll be talking about what is polynomial regression. What is the difference between the regular linear regression that most of us hears about and the importance of polynomial regression followed by looking for the example for the same. So let's get started. Now here's our Jupyter notebook and polynomial regression is a part of regression in which it's used by the time the data is not into a linear distribution. Now what I mean by that is that the every time a data which has been given to you may not be necessarily in a in a linear distributive path. Now, if in a linear regression, if a try if one tries to implement a polynomial distributive value, if one tries to implement a linear regression, the curve is not fitted well and does not give us the accurate value. Now, linear regression only works for the simple plane line y equals to mx plus c. In the most of the cases, it's not necessary that the data which has been given to you will be according to the same. Now, as we can see in this picture, the value of the raw data which has been distributed and we have been applying different orders of polynomial value to the same. As we can see, the value for the linear regression, if it was fitted, it just plots for y equals to mx plus c having the value of x as to the power of 1. If we change the order of the polynomial, that's the power of x, we get much more appreciable results according to the same. As we can see, the red line is for x power 3, which is still considering the distribution of the data. But as we increase the value, so this so to the fifth order, it becomes much more curvy and it's taking much more data to it. But as we can see, if we increase directly to the ninth order, most of the values which is inside the data is being covered. Now, the number of points or the closest your curve goes to the points is the results or the accurate your model is. The accuracy in a linear regression or a regression is measured by mean square error. That is the distance between the point from both the side followed by the predicted curve that has been given. Now, for example, if you're considering the red line as the resulted value, the value of the perpendicular distance that we get from the point to the line is the mean square error more the mean square error the less it's accurate so it should be ranging from a range of 0 to 1000 maximum then you can say that your model is accurate now in this one as we can see x power 9 is having one of the minimum mean square error as it's connecting through maximum number of dots present inside the same so Let's look at the example and let's see how it works. So we are calling the necessary libraries followed by reading the salary data that we have been talking about. The salary data is the data in which we are given the positions, the level of experience followed by the salary which has been provided. So we have a level of 1 to 10 followed by from a business analyst to the CEO and the salary is provided for the same. Now the challenge which has been given in this video is to predict how accurately one can predict for the level of 8.5 which is not provided in the data frame. So that's the challenge. So in this video we'll be comparing the linear model against the polynomial regression model. So in this one we are calling the linear regression class. Okay. That is scikit-learn linear model linear regression and fitting the value of x and y in the same.
now as we can see the linear fit regression has recorded and trained the value for x and y let's see and call for the polynomial regression now in this one we have to call it from pre-processing and into the polynomial feature now once that is done we have to define the class or the degree for which we are considering the value so here we are considering degree equals to 4 as for the given value provided once that is done what we do is that we fit the value of the x and transform it so it's called as fit and transform at the same time the x value is now changed according to the x polynomial regression that we have called for the degree of x once that is done we, we fit the value inside the fit function of the x polynomial and the y value that we were having followed by calling the regression class and now since the degree of x is being changed we can fit in the linear regression class and works according to the polynomial that we have defined once we run that we have the linear regression implemented now since we can see the linear regression is same in both but working differently according to the degree of the polynomial once that is done let's see what are the both of the results recorded by both of the values now this is the result in which we can see the linear regression one has hardly just cost one value as we can see it only distributed the value for the y equals to mx plus c value but not according to the distribution of the polynomial that we have now as compared to the polynomial distribution let's see so as we can see the, all the values in present inside the data is being crossed by the polynomial regression and as we can see this is by far the best results that we have got from the data which was distributed and we can see all of the values which is being crossed with the curve predicting it now once that is done and we have both the visual results of the same let's see how much values does both of them has predicted so here are the two values for the predictive value of 8.5 level of experience and linear regression has predicted it is 41 and the polynomial regression has predicted as 38 so if you look back into the data if we considered it as 41 that would be much more closer to 5 and if we consider at 3.8 we can see the polynomial regression value is much more accurate and closer to the one that we have now this was a small distributed data from super data science community so since we are using that as we can see the closest fitting curve that we have obtained from the same is the polynomial level once that is done that we can look into the overview and predict that 38 is much more relevant value as compared to the prediction of 41 now in this video we try to explain the difference between the concept of linear regression and the polynomial regression Understanding linear regression is very much important, but changing your model according to the data distribution is even more important. That is why we are giving the value of polynomial regression in this specific video. I hope you understand to the best level and looking forward for the next videos with you. Thank you.